First episode of 2018, episode 11. Damn. No, episode 12. Oh, yeah, 11's coming out. E- ele- 11's going to be posted by the end of recording this one, so. Um, yeah, so hope you guys had a happy new year. I hope everyone got fucked up. I know I did. Amen. I know Teach did. For sure. For what we were talking about just before. Um, so I would say let's get right cracking in, um, since we were just talking about it. Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones. I just finished season three a couple days ago on New Year's Day. It's kind of funny to have this episode have Game of Thrones because it what it ended last uh, the last season just ended in the summer last summer. I'd say like this beginning summer? of the fall, something like somewhere the around fall, there. Yeah, beginning of the fall, and they're not gonna they're not coming back out with it till twenty nineteen. Mm-hmm. They're taking the whole year to which is gonna be great. So it was so good, but because uh, there's gonna be ten seasons, right? I guess so. I I, so. The books aren't finished, so I guess it's indefinite, right? So hopefully, yeah. There's a guy on YouTube, I think his name's called Alt Shift or Alt Shift, Alt Shift X, something like that, where he does, he kind of meshes the movie, the show to the book. Mm-hmm. Although they're they're off, but there are some key stuff, so he kind of like predicts what's going to happen or what's most likely to happen and what what kind of was missed on the you know on the show that you don't see in the behind the scenes that mm-hmm. blah 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 so man i Check thought i think the show's awesome i'm I'm so mad it took me this long to get into it but that's nice you have the buying season though because what they're like how much are they well so luckily so get this so um the day after christmas on the 26th we, cause my dad got me and Leslie both like those little Visa prepaid cards, uh-huh. and so it was just twenty five bucks, which is just so awesome. So Leslie dropped me off at Best Buy while she was going to shop at Ulta, cause she got an Ulta gift card for fifty bucks. So she's like, I'm just gonna spend all the money at Ulta and get makeup. So it was kind of like okay. So she dropped me off at Best Buy and she said, "Don't spend all your money on one thing." And I was like, okay. <laughs> And then I went and yeah, she comes back with like this one palette to make up for She actually minutes. didn't buy a lot of stuff, oh. believe it or not. But um <laughs> but she so she dropped me off and I started looking at the DVDs, even though I buy things on Voodoo, where like mm-hmm. it's all electronic. Um I I saw it to the DVDs and I went to like the box set stuff. Best Buy has their own has like their special collector's edition cases of the um of the seasons. And they're a lot cheaper than the actual regular Blu-ray. Like, it's still Blu-ray. Mm. And it comes with the digital copy. So, I have seasons one and three uploaded on Voodoo because I bought those seasons. Those are the two seasons I bought. And um, it's like the sigils. It's like the, the crest. So, season one is the dragons. It's uh, it's tar- it's the Targaryen family crest. Mm-hmm. And then season three is the Stark. It has the dire wolf on it. Mm. So, I bought season one in case I want to go back and rewatch it. And then I bought season three because that's what I needed to watch. That's where I was kind of the next season I needed to watch. And I kind of regret that I only I bought seasons one and three. I should have bought seasons three and four. Right. <laughs> so, that way I'm like, I'm, I'm like, because I... Take back one. Well, because I already opened them and stuff. Yeah. Uh. And I uploaded the digital copies to Voodoo, so... You can't take it back? Yeah. I have to turn it back with its complete packaging and everything. Oh, so. really? I didn't know. Yeah, so... But season three, holy shit, I guess I... He, Teach just informed me, I saw the Red Wedding. Yeah. And god damn. Yeah, that was intense. <sighs> that blew my that fucking game mind. right there. I think when I had started watching Game of Thrones, it was season three. And I had... Um, binge watched one and two and three so i i ended on that too for a while so it was mm-hmm. a long a long dry season for what the hell is that <laughs> do you have a cat <laughs> cat pussy um i had to wait a long time for that to come i don't remember see i don't i thought there was four or five so there's eight fucking seasons and i've seen them all and uh i don't remember what what yeah because season seven just came out on blu-ray this past summer, and then uh, before season eight premiered, and then season eight yeah. just finished, and then so I know how season eight ends for sure. <laughs> I know what happens in season eight for a bit, but I don't want to get ahead of myself. Well, there's tons of memes fucking... for the bend the knee. <laughs> yeah, well, because they made a lot of those comments in season one, and I guess it's just you, you take a knee, you just bow. Right. Well, okay. Bending the knee is servitude. Mm, okay. oh, I think we talked about 
episode one too about with uh, with uh, what's his name Colin Kaepernick about how he's saying about how oh, yeah. he's kind of like a big servitude thing and in the show that's a really big thing I guess I can kind of take this because it's not that big of a deal since you already know about uh, Khaleesi and Jon Snow and Jon Snow it's really just that I mean, there's more to it, so I'm even giving, I'm only giving you like a quarter of what all goes into it. But basically, of course, yeah, there's so many. basically, you know, she you know she's on the warpath to be the new queen, queen yeah, of the Seven Kingdoms because that's like her birthright or whatever. So John is basically go, you know, trying to get her help, but she wants him to bend the knee. But he's got his own kind of intentions. He doesn't really want to start with that. Like he's not, he's not going to try to be part of that kingdom. So he doesn't really, but he wants her help with the. Fuck, I don't know. Say, okay. I'll just stop there. We'll okay. see. Later, right there. <laughs> so, so it eventually leads to sex. So, that's all <laughs> right? I know. Yeah, basically. So, whatever that boils up. See, so what... Jon Snow kind of broke my heart. Or the, the red-headed lady. Oh. They were so cool together. You know nothing, Jon Snow. <laughs> you know nothing, Jon Snow. And he's all, yes, I do. Like, he's all, I do know. I know I love you. He's such a dork. And I know you love me. She's yeah. all like she. He went down on her because I guess that's when he lost oh, his virginity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That thing you did with your tongue, Jon Snow. <laughs> all I know is I wanted to kiss you there. <laughs> Shut She's the fuck up. The do that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that was dirty. Yeah. I was like, man, and then that. Weirdo... I just remember when she was like trying to like suggest. She's all, it's wet, you know, and warm. <laughs> it's like whoa, 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 Ingrid, Jesus Christ, <laughs> like. That was the most proper when way that was dirty her, talking I've like, ever heard. Like. When that was her, when he was, when she was his prisoner at first, mm-hmm. I remember that. Yeah. And she was like, "You want, you want to take a roll in the snow, Jon Snow, and <laughs> everything like that." But that broke my heart when he had to leave her, and she was shooting with the bows and arrows. <coughs> and then um, that fat guy Sam with the baby. Sam's dope. And Sam, then, uh, what's. His name. I just know he's part of the watch. Yeah, but I can't. It starts with a T. But he comes from a line of kind of like knights and stuff too. Mm-hmm. So he's the first one that wants to be um on the watch. See, I can't. I can't. We can't talk about it because no, like I'm not up to date. I don't know how I'm much so fucking you know sorry. Either, like, so. Yeah, but um, <laughs> like it, like I'm so. I just regret taking this long to get into it, but I fucking love it. Um. Mm. So other than that, that's how I spent my New Year's Day was catching up on Game of Thrones. Yeah, that's like a I said. great way to spend a day. So it, I watched about, cause I bought it. I bought it the day after Christmas. I bought it December twenty sixth. I didn't start watching it till that Friday, December twenty seventh. So yeah, so I finished it in four days, three days, twenty seventh, twenty eighth, twenty ninth, thirty. How many episodes in it? First ten. Oh okay, <laughs> ten hours. That's nice. So, I mean, honestly, you could have done it quicker, cause. Eight hours in one day would have been. I could have. I was like, no, don't get <laughs> me wrong. Yeah. Like, I could have, but then I didn't watch anything on Christmas Eve on a uh, New Year's Eve because yeah. I was watching football. Yeah. No, no, I did watch one episode on uh, New Year's Eve, but then the Falcons game was actually on TV, so I was like, well, let me watch my team lose. I put on my jersey and my hat, <laughs> and surprisingly, we won. We made the playoffs. So nice. So this congrats, Saturday, congrats. Thank you. <laughs> we fought long and hard for it, so it's because you put your head on. That for, I'm pretty yeah. sure. Yeah. So this Saturday, I'm gonna watch them play the Los Angeles Rams, and hopefully, we win. But I was saying, I was like, we made it to playoffs, but we're not gonna get further because we made the wild card. It's kind of like the eh, you're a space filler, right? Like right, eh, right. you barely made the cusp of it. So right. they're at the bottom of the total pool. Yeah, it's kind of like eh, you barely made it. So yeah. But I was kind of like, yeah, we're done. We made it this far, but Los Angeles Rams are on fire here as of late. So I was like, there's no stopping Todd Gurley of, um, of Los Angeles, their quarterback. But then today watching ESPN, they were talking about who could have the biggest upset in the playoffs this year. And then the Falcons name got brought up. They were like, oh, if the Falcons can pull off a win against Los Angeles, that would be like the Cinderella story of the NFL this year. And I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? We went to the Super Bowl <laughs> last year. Fuck you guys. How would it be the Cinderella story? I was like, we're okay. Was your season pretty shit? Or no, it was wasn't. It was kind of like amazing all year here? It, it wasn't amazing all year. We won a lot of games. We finished the regular season 10 and 6. So we, you know, we lost six games, but we won four when more than we lost. was the last time they won the playoff? I mean, the Super Bowl. 
They've never won a Super Bowl in franchise history. Uh, maybe that's a Cinderella story. So, I don't know. <laughs> but but then they said the chances of Atlanta winning are 1% against Los Angeles this Saturday. So I'm like, you know what? So you're saying there's a chance. I was like, <laughs> fuck you guys. Now I hope they do win because I knew they were going to lose, but only I can say they can lose. Oh, my God. And I was like, so fuck you guys. Fuck you, ESPN. But yeah, fuck ESPN. Uh, they're my jerks of the week. No, I'm just kidding. There you go. <laughs> I was like, I couldn't think of any. Maybe we'll make some up. All right, we'll make people up. But um, no, but yeah. So that's how I spent my New Year's, and so I'm gonna spend this upcoming weekend. Uh, I'm gonna upgrade my house to the Amazon stuff. Woo-hoo. So tomorrow I'm gonna buy an Echo Plus and those smart lights, so that way it could be like Alexa, turn off lights. Bing. How does that work? Is like the bulb, the bulb is smart, or so yeah, so. It's called the Philips Hue, and, like, there's there's three types. There's the white, just, like, a regular old light bulb. There's the white ambiance, where um, it's the white, you know, just, like, a regular standard light, but you can do, like, warm setting. There's settings where it's, like, um, it's scientifically proven settings where the brightness of the light is, can either help you relax, recharge, and concentrate. Mm. So, like, different types of textures and stuff. So that's the white ambiance, and then there's the white and color ambiance, where it's kind of like the complete package, and um, then of course white, same stuff as the white ambiance, but then the color you could change the color. Huh. <laughs> and so. And so then, how much does one of these bulbs cost? So a regular white bulb, just one bulb by itself is fifteen bucks. The white ambiance bulb I think is twenty bucks. I think I saw one. But the only, the most common one are just the white and the color in white. The color in white one is fifty bucks a bulb. Ooh. And then, but in order for them to be considered smart light bulbs, like I can plug it in, like I can buy it. Like let's say I didn't know nothing about light bulbs, and I was like, oh, I want this one. It's a fancy box. I plug it in. It'll work like a yeah, regular say light bulb. I know nothing about light bulbs. Let's <laughs> pretend like I know nothing about light bulbs. Okay. Because I don't. Right. <laughs> All I know is you screw them in. You just have to buy the ones. I know that they're structurally stronger at the base than at the head because I want scrubs. (laughs) (laughs) Yes. You get it in there. You can't take it out. You have to put the balloon. (laughs) Boop. The little. Yeah. Yeah. But a nice reference there. I love that. Um, We'll see. So like with this one. So what makes it a smart bulb is that like the because it's like one of those fancy LED energy saving light bulbs. Uh-huh. You know, like how the whole green stuff, like they're supposed to last longer yeah, and this, yeah. this and that. So um, that's what makes it part of the smart bowl. But then like you, they sell starter kits. There's Philips Hue starter kits, which range like the white ones by itself is like uh, 150 bucks. And then the starter kit with the color is a uh, 200 bucks. And, um, and that com- includes what? The, two, the $200 package here. The, the $200 package for the white and color, it comes with four light bulbs oh, and a bridge. <laughs> and it comes with the, the thing that kind of you plug into the, your router. And then like you... Um, so these light bulbs have Bluetooth? Yeah. It, you what, can control what, the what color you on your the phone. Bridge? If you don't have the bridge, you're just, you just pay 200 bucks for regular light bulbs. Or you just pay 50 bucks for a regular light bulb. And it won't change color. It won't change color. You need the bridge. You need the bridge and the app on your phone to change the color. Well, the app, I'm sure, is free. Yeah, the app is free. The bridge on its own? The bridge on its own is 60 bucks. Ah, so you get a deal if you buy four for 200, you get the bridge for free because they're 50 bucks a piece. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, and then, like, um, but then the thing is, so I was kind of looking at these and I'm like, okay... I'm going to buy the Amazon Echo Plus because the Plus, right now, Amazon is doing a deal where if you buy the Amazon Echo Plus, you get a free light bulb. And that's kind of like, well, why do I want a free light bulb? What the fuck is this? Because I was looking on Amazon.com and I was like, the fuck's all this shit? I was like, what am I going to do with a free light bulb? And then I researched. I was like, well, why do they keep giving it a fancy name? The Philips Hue White Light. And I was like, I never heard of this myself. Me neither until um, until New Year's Day. That's Mm. when I started looking into it. Um, well, this light bulb stuff. So I researched it and yeah, so it's where you plug it in. Um, so let's say I just bought the light bulbs by themselves, right? Let's not talk about the echo. I get the, I buy the starter kit where it comes with the bridge and the four lights. I put in the lights in the room or the places I want to put the lights in, right? The bridge, you know, helps kind of connect where you can control the brightness and everything like that of the lights. So you download the app, you kind of connect everything, you know, you got to make sure it all syncs up, you know, and then with the app itself, you can kind of move the brightness, you can schedule it to come on at certain times, turn off at certain times, 
you get kind of set these kind of things that they call routines and all that good stuff, right? So cool, cool, cool. All that's fancy, smancy. Can you set it to clapping? No. Settings. Well, <laughs> it's not the clap, fuck. right? <laughs> This is the clapper. I was watching us about The clapper. <laughs> so, um, but the cool thing about the the Amazon Echo Plus is that it comes built in with the smart home hub, where you can do because like you know how to now PE nowadays you can do like the thermostat, the electronic one, where uh-huh. you can do it on your phone. You have the locks that you can lock from your phone for the doors. Yeah. And you know all that crazy stuff. Right. So the Amazon Echo Plus has all of that built in. So you don't have to buy a starter kit for the ah, Philips Hue. Okay, okay. All you have to do is just buy the light bulbs. And so if, whenever you get a house, if you keep, I, I mean, ideally, you could take this uh, Echo Plus into like your house and get all that stuff added to because it, like the lock yeah. or the thermostat or whatever, because it has it all capable. There's no yeah. add-ons to like have to whatever. Like, I don't have yeah. I don't have to buy a separate bridge for the locks. I don't have to buy a separate bridge for the thermostat. Right. Everything like that. Everything's all controlled through the Amazon Hub. Through the Amazon Echo Plus. So that's why I was like, oh, this is way better. So what I'm going to do tomorrow after work, I'm going to pick up the Amazon Echo Plus, get a free light bulb. I'm going to buy a four pack of the light bulbs. So a four pack of just the white ones. I'm going to wait to do the color. Sure. I'm, not, I'm not going to jump ahead that far. The white ones <laughs> don't have the ambient stuff though? No, the white, one, the white one is just you get to control the brightness oh, okay. and that's it. Which is kind of all I'm looking for right now. Sure. You know, like, I just want to kind of just dip to my toes. see how much you're going to use it, yeah. Yeah. And so, and I, and which I'll get so into, too. That's 60 bucks right there, though, for the four-pack. 50 bucks. There's, it's forty nine ninety seven. okay. okay. So, some so, I'm going to spend about 200 bucks for the Amazon Echo Plus. It's 150 For the Hue light bulbs, it's 50 bucks. But I'm getting five light bulbs for, you know, technically the price of four because I'm getting that free light bulb yeah. where I'm whatever way you want to look at it um, where I'm saving the money. So I'm going to put the five light bulbs in the house. I'm going to start tinkering with it because I just and I, I've always been wanting I've, and teach can v- vouch for this. I've been wanting to get an Alexa something mm. for the longest time. Just so it would be like, hey, Alexa, I want to be a lazy bum in my house. Pretty yeah, much I is, love it. Yeah. is what it I comes down to. I just have the dot, but I like it a lot too. But, you know, it's been unplugged for a while and mm-hmm. I realize I don't use it that much. But <laughs> but I do like it. Like I, every morning, especially with the weather nowadays, I'm like, you know, Alexa, how, what's the weather like? And she's like, wear a fucking jacket, motherfucker, because it's cold. <laughs> like, it's go cold. start your car now because you're leaving in 15 minutes. So let it fucking heat up. <laughs> a little bit. Know? Which I should have done today. God damn. My windshield was oh, all it. iced over. I forgot to... I didn't anticipate that, you didn't so do it. I, you drove with ice. Fuck yeah! Well, because I had to fill up gas too, so I was like, I ain't got time for nothing. Uh, I was like, I gotta go. I was running late, eesh. so I was. Like, I was late too, but I ended up having to come back in and wait ten minutes to let that suck you. I could, I mean, because even the fucking windshield wiper, you know, what I mean, like I. It was all. <laughs> ah, uh, it gives me the skis. The mm-hmm. sound is horrible. horrible. And I was trying to like spray water, like use the windshield wiper fluid on it. It was frozen too, probably. It, right? Yeah, it wasn't going. Yeah. I was like. Motherfucker! <laughs> but every time, I, every time I did it, you know, I pulled a little thing. <laughs> yeah. I was like, shit! Well, you know, back when I lived in South Dakota, you had a, everyone has a scraper on them in their car. I mean, that's just like standard. I haven't seen this. You, know, like, you don't need those down here. You don't, this is crazy. When I was a kid, weather. when I was a kid, we actually had to have a <laughs> scraper because in the winter, it'll actually get pretty cold. Here in San Antonio? Here in San, when I was a little kid, it really? would actually get really cold. But over the years, it's just warmed up so much. Global warming. Well, to be honest, I remember... When I was little, it was uh, you didn't you didn't need the scraper so much because you could use a v, uh, VHS a cassette uh, the case a cassette um, the plastic case again. yeah you know what I'm saying because it opens straight you just just scrape uh-huh. you know it had like that sharp corner so you could just go you know uh-huh. just in your car so yeah uh-huh. but I don't remember I was in San Antonio as a little kid too but only until I was like eight so I don't really remember but and you're older than me too so yeah. A two. I don't know. I don't remember. But I remember having to use a tape, a cassette tape thing. But that was, like, common to have, too. You didn't use it for a scraper, though, but... I remember my parents' Geo. It had just a cassette player, but then when they upgraded to the Hyundai Elantra, it had a CD player, so... Ah, shit. Even CDs are obsolete. They don't even fuck, I don't even have any CDs in my... Do you, even, do you use CDs? I have CDs, but I haven't... Like, I bought the Metallica album uh-huh. when it came out last... Um, this past November? No, not even this past November... November before that, oh, fuck. Um, November 2016, when Hardwired Self-Destruct, I went out and bought the album. The CD? The CD itself. Oh. 
But on the way home, I didn't put in the CD. I listened to the album on Spotify. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So exactly. it's like I wasted. Well, I didn't well, waste my. I wanted Metallica. And see, my money, I do so. that with um, vinyl, <laughs> just because it's the same concept. Of, <sighs> don't even start on vinyl. I just oh. like to have it. Like I don't fucking use. I have a turntable, but I don't fucking use it. I just. It's just kind of nice to have it. It's kind of nuanced now that it's so old. Just like a CD, you don't fucking use it either. But <laughs> you see, don't like vinyl? No, I don't like vinyl because I think. It, it turned into a hipster. Yes, yeah. it turned into a hipster thing. So I remember when we first started dating, Leslie and I, she, I remember she was always talking about wanting a, a vinyl player mm-hmm. for, you know, just to have and stuff. So I assumed she wanted a vinyl player because she had old vinyls she wanted to listen to. Oh. She wanted to use it <laughs> to actually listen to vinyls. Yeah. I bought her a vinyl player. I bought her a, a vinyl of one of her favorite bands. Uh, Modest Mouse, I think, was the first one I bought her. And I gave it to her as a Valentine's Day gift, I think. And she used it once because I bought it for her when we weren't living together. She recorded it on Snapchat, Instagram, all that good stuff. <laughs> but we weren't living together, so I assumed she was getting regular use out of it. Yeah. But then when we moved in together and we were moving the vinyl player, it was still it was in its box, and the box was like covered in dust. I had bought her like yeah. two other records prior, you know, after that as well, all covered in dust. I bought her like so many vinyls, and they're all just sitting somewhere in the apartment. I'm like, why did I buy you this and you're not using it? Oh, I wanted to post, you know, post the pictures. I'm like, I bought you. I spent $300 on something just so you could post stuff on. $300? Because I bought her a nice one. I was like. That was was probably when they were getting popular too, though, maybe. And that was still before when. Because they had a hump where they were like super expensive. And then they started coming out with like the $40, you know, turntables they could just buy. And And that was, but you know, that was when I still had money to spend before I had more bills. Yeah. And shit like that. That's when I could go into a store and just spend $400, $500 or something. I like it because, well, me and Mrs. Teach, I mean, we don't (coughs) regularly listen. We have Spotify. Now we have the freaking diet. So, like, you can just. Hey, Alexa, play this fucking song, you know? um, (laughs) Play this fucking song, right? (laughs) Yeah. But, um, I I got, I was, fuck, Miss T was making fun of me the other day, because I I just throw in curse words, like, randomly, like, they kind of sound mean, but I'm not, like, we we were at the movies or something, we were somewhere, and I was like, hey, want some fucking popcorn? And I'm like, (laughs) she's like, why do you have to sound so, like, pissed? I'm like, what? I'm just saying, like, there's there's fucking popcorn over here, you want some? We know, I I think I'm gonna get some. (laughs) Leslie gets after me a lot, because I just naturally cuss a lot. Yeah, just so it's like. So I'm like, man, what the fuck? And she goes, well, what happened? I'm like, what? Yeah. I was like, no, I was like, oh no, what I, the fuck are you talking about? I mistied my shoe. Like, yeah. <laughs> I was like, I tied my shoe weird. That's she just goes, how I say it. She goes, and when, when I so when I drink with her parents too, it really, I mean, when I'm drinking, it really comes out. Mm-hmm. And even with her parents, she's like, oh my. She goes, I'm kind of glad you don't speak Korean because if you were like cursing in Korean the way you curse in English or with my mom, she would probably hate you. <laughs> like you sound like such a. It sounds so. Like, to talk around, like, like, you don't, you know, they're, like, old school, you know. Yeah. Koreans have that older kind of concept where, like, you don't talk like that in front of them. Ooh. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. But her dad doesn't give shit. Anyways, the, <coughs> the turntable thing. Um, what we like to do, though, is, because me and Miss Teach, we like to just kind of, like, on the weekends, we'll go to, like, we have a little spot, like, shopping centers. You know, like, the, sometimes we go to the mall, sometimes we go to, like, uh, where is it at? There's a... Alamo Ranch? Alamo Ranch, the quarry, you know, uh... Um, the, the Pearl, and, uh, there's one out there, but <laughs> I like to get to where I buy my bottles, is, uh, uh, Total Wine by, um, it's by North Star, it's, like, right down the street from North Star Mall, but there's a little shopping center there, so there's, like, a Park of Nobles, and there's a, oh, like, I know a what you're thrift store, okay. and there's, like, a blah, 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 and, you know, we'll go to, the, like, the half price books or whatever, and, um, you know, look for, through vinyl and find something cool, um, and then we'll bring it home, we'll listen to it, we'll just have it playing, because we've heard it all, I mean, we know, them. It's, we don't buy vinyl, we're like, it's a new fucking vinyl, I've been waiting for this to come out, I mean, it's all <laughs> old shit, we'll just have it on, and they're like, oh, that was nice, put it away. <laughs> you know? That was nice. I think the most I get out of my turntable is something like that, which is rare, because usually I don't find stuff that I like, but I have, like, a, I have Bob Marley Greatest Hits, I have, um, the Thriller album from Michael Jackson, I have, um, uh... I have some newer ones too. I have a uh, 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 Black Sabbath. Ooh, which one? I problem? have uh, uh, with um, Iron Man. Paranoid. Okay. Yeah, Paranoid. Uh, with uh, and my favorite song from them is uh, 
Ah, fucking Eric. War Pigs. Oh, that's dude. my favorite fucking song. I teared up when I saw Black Sabbath live and they played it. I love. That's oh, my oh, favorite. Fucking I love song. War Pigs. I love War Pigs. So the, like every time that album comes on, that has to be played. Um, and then I'll, I I like jazz and stuff because I was in jazz band and blah blah. blah. So I'll buy yeah saxophone stuff. And then Christmas. I used to do Christmas parties like friends miss and like uh, friends giving and shit. And um, I'll play Christmas music on the turntable just because it's just kind of like... Has that old school It's kind of feel. hipster, kind of like, hey, look at the Prince was like... Yeah, <laughs> fuck this guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Pretentious. Yeah, it. But let's see, I didn't do any of them. My fr- we had a Friendsgiving at, at, at another friend's place, and that was kind of... Our family was there, and I was like, hey, this is fucking Friends was like... I mean, I love your family, like, it's cool that they came, but the point is to do this without any family. Like, we all see our family for Thanksgiving... And we're all supposed to get together and just drink and be stupid kids. Like, but all your family's fucking here. Just sitting inside. Like, it feels kind of awkward, you know? Hey, like, grandma. Yeah, <laughs> no, really. Like, <laughs> and they have kids and shit. So, like, they are grandparents. Like, we're all binge drinking and, like, it's smoking joints and, like, the, yeah, you know. Yeah, like, coke I'm like, and it's and... Friendsgiving. And then Friendsmas, we didn't have it all. We usually do a Friendsmas, but. Anyways, yeah. so. That's that. <laughs> See, so last week, I was so wasted. You were fucked up. Oh, my God. You know, it's funny, because I, I went right to sleep after you left. Like, really? I think as soon as I closed the door, I ran to bed and just fucking passed <laughs> out. Like, you were asleep when I got here today. And then today, I had a long fucking day, so... That's the cat. You hear that, Fog? <laughs> um, I got home around, like, 7 or 8 o'clock, and I, I took a shower... I made a peanut butter sandwich, <laughs> and I watched. I've been watching Friends. I just been. I just. Been, I've just been putting it on because I've seen them all. So yeah, I, I love pay Friends. attention. Like I can just kind of like. You know what's happening. You know? <laughs> um, and I. It was like eight forty five actually when I. I was just like, oh, let me just dad a beer in a little bit. Let me just kind of, and then and I was like, <laughs> like Baba, it's like down my chest. I oh, heard you shit. say. I, I heard like, you say that through the door. <laughs> I heard you go, oh shit. <laughs> And I was like, oh, don't tell me him and Mrs. Teacher fucking right now. <coughs> no, 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 she's not even here right now. I would have been no. like, hey, I'll come back and get you. No, it wasn't, it wasn't that long. It was just like, I I totally like, it was weird how like in that 20 minutes I just passed out. Like, like I was like hardcore asleep. Like if you wouldn't have came, I would have just woke up the next morning. So so now I'm playing, trying to catch up. <laughs> oh yeah, I took three shots before I came over here at oh. Fireball. Because it was, again, just a long fucking day, first day back after the holidays, and I'm just like... Oh, those are the worst. It's like, man, now I know, like, the holidays I'm are, like, like officially what over. Work? Like, <laughs> why do I even hear? Oh, uh, thank you for calling. My name is David? <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. forgetting how to fucking life? do my job? It was like, um... Freaking, a fucking, um... What was it? It was New Year's... Okay, New Year's was on Sunday. So Friday was, like, what, the 28th or the 29th or something, right? 27th. 27 so i was scheduled to work like i got paid for like my eight hours that day and i was supposed to leave at like five or four or something but like noon my office manager was like hey no one's fucking here so why don't you just head out and i was like dope like like, are you serious she's like i'm like but you were because i and i get paid so like it'll be 27th or whatever but i get paid through like the 15th and 31st like Mm -hmm. She always calls in payroll, like, two or three days before the 15th or 31st, and she pays me, like, in advance, basically. So, I have to kind of... Be, like, that's what sucks with those three days. I can't call in, because, like, I'm already getting paid for them, mm-hmm. you know? Um, so, I was like, oh, I... You already paid me for the rest of the day? She's like, no, yeah, we're cool. Like, you're good. Like, you're good to go. I'm like, fuck, that's awesome, you know? But then I'm like, now I'm like, dang, it's noon, and I kind of want to go. I kind of just, like, go. Like, oh, yeah, the holidays are over. Like, that doesn't happen in real life, you know? Right. Man, I'm just fucking like, I'm done. Hopefully, (laughs) hopefully this month I get that little upgrade to the next Mm. level with the position that I'm at. So that way, kind of get a little slight, nice little break from the phone for a little bit. Because if I hit what's called the MCR three spot with the, which is because I'm at an MCR two. If I hit MCR three. They put me in property training. Property training is like a week or two off the phone. Mm. So I'm like, yes, fuck yeah. And I was like, I want a new schedule. Like I want to be, because right now I'm currently 10 to 630 central. And so, because you never know where people are listening to. Sure. So 10 to 630 central. American time. Right, American. America and Texas time. And uh, 
<laughs> I, remind me about the central. Let's see. Come back to that after the story because I have something to say about that. Oh, okay. Okay. So like um. So yeah. So I'm um, ten to six thirty, and I want to be eight to four thirty. Like I would like to be morning to early evening. Mm-hmm. I guess you could say or working nine to five. <laughs> Dolly Parton. <laughs> Cause I'm just like, cause I just like at six thirty. There's not so much like I can do after my shift. It's like, and if I want to go to something like, like um, like if I want to go to like a Monday Night Raw, or if I want to go to a like concert, this, yeah, you can't get here till nine because you get out so late. You go eat dinner. I get out. I eat dinner. And I kind little, of you know, thunder loving, and then th- boo boo boo. Yeah. I was like, eat dinner, let it settle, watch whatever I need to catch up with with Leslie, because then she gets all. You never watch your shows. You never need to catch up. And I'm like, fine, whatever. But Wednesdays, uh, that reality show we watch, Total Divas comes on. So I watched that, but now that's kind of been easing. Like, eh, I'm going to be working on the episode. So Oh, really? Yeah, so I'm like, uh, while well, you're doing that, I'm going to... So oh, nice. So kind of have a scapegoat to get out of that. But then, yeah, so then I, I make sure I finish everything by 9, and then I walk over here because, yeah. Because Wednesday's a podcast day. Wednesdays are for the boys. Wednesdays are for the boys. Dude, I fucking almost drank my drink all stupid, so. He's still all stupid. Yeah. You need another drink. I do. So, I I was reading this, uh, I'm, I live on Facebook, so I was reading this thing (laughs) on, uh, uh, about, like, how British people or American people, like, on, uh, Tumblr or Reddit or whatever, how they've gotten, like, just, you know, they were like, what is this? And, like, what is this? Or whatever. And what some British person put... What the fuck is this 78C? Like, what the fuck is that? You know, like, when you have a... 78 Central or yeah, something like seven, that? Is it 78? Yeah, because Central's always a little later than... Because they showed it Eastern Time, and then Central's, like, an hour later, right? Yeah. yeah or something like that. Whatever the yeah, fuck cause it is. Yeah, because 8 p.m. Eastern is 7 p.m. Central. Yeah. So then it would be 7 in California, Western Time, then. It would be... No, it would be 5 o'clock in California. Because California is two hours behind. I should say Americans are going to fucking I don't know where this. So when it's seven eight central, all I know is that eight is when I need to watch. If I see on this program seven eight central, I'm like, oh eight central. That's when I need to watch it, right? No eight eight central is nine p.m. Eastern. But we're in Central Time. Yeah, but I'm they, saying the first a, time. The first time is for central. First time is for Central. The second time is for Eastern. But they still say. 7, 8 central. So it's still going to be 7 p.m. our time. I learned that from Disney Channel. Well, I watch that on Netflix. So I don't really have to worry about that anymore. But right. <laughs> <laughs> I watch whatever the fuck I want, when the fuck I want to. Right. But anyways, someone, the, you know, an American person. So British, someone British said, like, the fuck is that about? I guess they don't have time zones in England? I don't know. I guess not. Maybe they're too small. You know, we're so spread out. That's why we have so many time zones. <clears throat> I guess their whole country has one. Korea only has one time zone. There's only, you know, there's not the concept of different time zones is weird to them for the country. Anyways, maybe England's like that too. So, like, what is that about? And someone came and goes, oh, C stands for um, cause. It's actually eagle cause. And depending on how tired the eagle is, it might be from 7 8 cause of the eagles. <laughs> when we can watch it. <laughs> Stupid. So when you said seven eight central, I just thought that was or whatever you said earlier. Oh, it's getting off at six p.m. Yeah. central. Six p.m. central. I posted one today because I thought it was funny. It said, um, "So you know, like British, you're like, oh, that's quite lovely or something, right? Like they use the word quite. Did you see my post? No, I didn't. So, see So okay, what do you think when an English when someone says like, oh, that's quite lovely? Like, what uh, would you think that means? Like, that's quite lovely. Like, um, like they like yeah, it's cool. Like I like it. It's nice. Okay, what about if they say like, oh, she's quite beautiful. <laughs> She's quite beautiful. Um, she's very pretty. Very okay, so yeah. there's this aspect of America that I've always held on to until today that quite meant, like, accented. It meant, like, more than, right? Like, quite beautiful was, like, above beautiful. Like, but like, isn't it just, like, kind of like the bare minimum? Like It means the bare minimum. <laughs> yeah. So, But the thing is, I feel like, I don't know, apparently other people did, too, where we use, when we say quite, when, like, it was, like, it, I guess we don't really... It sounds funny to not to say quite without an English accent, but if you're like, it was quite fucked up. like <laughs> Quite fucked up. <laughs> and that would, mean, that would be me emphasizing how fucked up it is. That's kind of like, it was really fucked up is what I'm meaning when I say it's, it was quite fucked up, right? So kind of like when we say pretty, like when we go like, oh yeah, that's pretty fucked up, or oh, it's pretty cool right, outside. Right, right, exactly. Our, in the American version of quiet is, it means emph- it's emphasis versus when the English person says it, it actually means, kind of, it means actually 
not even almost like very like it was like if someone's quite pretty they were like being nice they just kind of made the cut <laughs> like <laughs> so the post was like i have been overemphasizing or i've been overestimating british people's enthusiasm on like everything because it's like quite for everything right yeah, like yeah, that's quite awesome that's oh, what i think about it's quite, it's yeah quite it's not that doesn't mean that it's really cool that means like it's, it was barely cool like <laughs> it was like i was barely satisfied with that mm-hmm. you know what the fuck yeah <laughs> I need more ice. Yeah, there's ice in the thing. Um, you want to do a smoke break? or Yeah, we can do a quick little smoke break yeah, and then get into our break. actual topics of the week. If we have any. <laughs> right. We'll find out. We'll find out. Be back. You're the jerk, jerk, jerk of the week. You're a jerk and it's your week. You really outdid yourself. Like a crazy super jerk. You're probably a big jerk every week. But this week, you're the jerk of the week. Alrighty. Jerk of the week. Jerk of the week. We got a pretty big one. <coughs> Which, this one's pretty true about being a jerk every week, too. Well, yeah. He's he's a, sucks. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he's sucks. like, he's a trash person. He was a Disney star, wasn't he? Isn't that how he started? For, was no. this him? Well, he started, off as a Vine, he started off as a Vine star. And if you already know, don't get ahead of us. He started off as a Vine star. Because he was so popular with teenage girls and everything on Vine, he got a Disney star contract. He became um. a Disney star. And then... His show got canceled. He was on some like Bailey. Because he was still doing the Vine though. <laughs> yeah, and then he was kind of just like, uh, no, actually, that's his brother. Oh. His brother was the Vine star. We're talking about, so we're talking about Logan Paul. <laughs> Sorry, there's somebody like knocking upstairs. They're always doing that on purpose. I don't know. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Um. Do you like but, to have a podcast? Yeah, yeah. Come on down. <laughs> but um. So anyway. So, Logan Paul is a Vine star. He was famous for doing pranks. It's a prank, bro. It's a prank. Um, Fucking piece of shit. But, so, apparently, like, when Vine got shut down, he needed to find a new way to kind of show his boring-ass life and spoiled rich white life. So, he started a vlog on YouTube where it's like, he posts little videos where he just kind of tracks where he does. So, I guess this little fucker was in Japan. Mm -hmm. And um, I don't know the name of the forest, but there's a famous suicide forest. A recent movie just came out about it, kind of, I would say, glorifying it, to be honest. Make a little thriller movie out of it. But So, I guess him and his crew wanted to go take a little hike and videotape it while walking through this forest. Coincidentally, the path that they were on, and they did have a tour guide with them. The, the path that they were on, there was a freshly hung body. Um, hanging from a tree, which um, I guess you could kind of presume that it um, was the deed was done in the morning. But his smart idea was to record the body, but censor the face. So he thought all was right by censoring the face. But he showed a dead body in his YouTube video and they were making fun of it. They were laughing at it. They sounded off like they were really scared, but then they just started laughing about it. Yeah. And it... And, like, he like he was... Like, he was all like, man, that's some crazy shit, man. Did you see that shit? Like, kind of like, that's so fucking crazy. The craziest thing is... And, you know, it's all censored because his audience is little kids. So... And the video has been taken down by this point now, but I'm pretty sure you could find it reposted somewhere because yeah. of how stupid it was. But... He, apparently in the thumbnail, it was like his like surprise face and the picture of the dead body and kind of like, we found a dead body to kind of attract the views. So people saw it, got offended, pissed off. They, YouTube took it down. He issued some like half-ass apology on Twitter where he was kind of like, he was just talking about himself Uh and then people still got pissed off by it. Like. That's just a shitty apology. You're not... Well, it was like... It was all about him monetizing this horrible aspect of the human condition. And then going for money. And then going, oh, I'm so sorry. I don't do this for money. And then still doing it for money. Oh, yeah. Because he's like... Oh, he goes, I didn't do it to get views. I get views alone. Like... And then he he said, he goes, the reason why I posted it was to 
raise awareness of suicide. Ah. And I thought to myself, if I could save at least one person through this video, I'm like, what are you doing? You're not raising awareness. You're laughing at a dead body. I mean, that's the literal (laughs) definition of, like, desecration of a corpse. I was like, like, you you fucking prick. Like, you jerk. Like, and so, now granted for me, because I've seen fucked up shit in my life, like, the... Yeah. It's not terrible, like, the, like, I guess the... The violent factor to it or, like, the shock value, well, right. to me, because I'm so desensitized, but to a little kid that's never seen that kind of stuff, you know, to, you know, because that's what his following is, is little kids, little girls. His platform, yeah. And, like, and people fucking idolize this guy, and then, you know, what does that say to these kids? Not only that, but I think it has something to say about how, I feel like we as a people... <laughs> Americans, I would say specifically too, that is almost most of us of how we would act, right? I think it is, it would be. If we were in that forest and no cameras or no YouTube or no platform to show, it would be like, oh shit, fucking dead body, what the fuck, bro? And like, make a big thing about it, not really take into account, you know, the, mm-hmm. the severity of it. Um, he unfortunately was videotaping it and showed the world how shitty he is and how a lot of us probably would have been too. I think that was the gravest part of it is like, fuck, you can't do that. Like that's, Mm -hmm. you need to take it more seriously than that. And then, and then like he, and then after his original policy, uh, apology fell flat, (laughs) people were like giving even more shit for it. He made a videotaped apology where he did a lot of dramatic looks off to the sides to stop from crying and. Oh really? Yeah, yeah, I, I watched watch it. That. I watched it, and he was like, I- "I'm so sorry. I I, I didn't know." Cool. Yeah. And he was like, he was literally, you, you can't see it, of course, because you know this is recorded. But he's all, <laughs> oh "I'm so God. sorry." And I'm like, "Man, fuck you, dude! Like, you're you're just pissed off because your video got down, and you know how much." And probably used. thinking about how much more um, publicity he'll get if he gets this sympathy factor too, you know. And then somebody, and, like, I was reading the comments, because, like, his little fan base was like, we still support you, we still love you, it was a mistake, you can't, like, you can't, he needs to learn from his mistakes, and the people were like, you need to fucking learn not to post dead bodies on social media, like, <laughs> yeah. that's something you need to learn. Yeah. It's like, what the fuck? The and, thing is, too, is, you know, that cartel website you watch or whatever, that, or any of those sites. Like, those, they, those videos, or, yeah. Or, or, what is it, Reddit has them, too, like, you know. 4chan, the, like, everybody, 4chan. those threads come around a lot. Um. That is something that is an underbelly of the ugly side of our society, which just is, and then there's this plat, there's yeah. this outlet for it, and that happens. But you have to pretty much you have to seek those out. Like it's not so readily available as this guy's fucking YouTube channel was. Like exactly, you know, like and you can't find videos like that on YouTube. And in the odd chance that you do, it was probably something that was freshly posted uh-huh. and hasn't been taken down yet by YouTube and their guidelines and stuff. Because you can't post extreme violence on YouTube. Yeah, right. So it's like, that's what I'm saying. The only outlet for those types of videos, but the oh, videos that I see, yeah, are like on 4chan, there's specific threads called wrecked threads yeah. where, you know, it shows the blood and gore. It shows, it shows. And don't they get shut down after a while? Or no? Only, only if people stop posting on it. Oh, like if oh, your oh. like if your thread gets inactivity for oh. like more than 10 minutes, then your post gets what's called 404 it's no longer found well and and the japan and korea they their countries right now are like the top in suicide too also right and it's this aspect of their culture that's so um demanding of them and they have like you know they have six day work weeks and like 12 hour days and shit like that and so that aspect of suicide force whatever is like that's an underbelly of their society how their shit gets you know is not uh, you know, not up to par for the human condition either. And so to some, for a foreigner, especially to come in, uh, uh, again, the word just lost me. That it's high. not, it's not a, um, to take advantage of that for publicity is just the shittiest thing you can do. Like, that's like when that movie came out, like I never heard of this forest until the, um, until the movie came out called the forest where, um, I never heard about it till this actually. Really? And no. so, so I, I didn't know about this. Uh, a Korean pop star just killed himself. Uh, oh yeah. Yeah. He, and from a cape. A, yeah, from K-pop, and there's the, he him doing that, and it's kind of sad because it glorifies the suicide, but it also raises awareness. And there's that we talked about that one podcast mm-hmm. where where's the line at? But you know, who's explo- There's already shirts out for him, these little logos and stuff, and mm-hmm. people profiting. But but K-pop stars and J K-pop, Korean pop, J-pop, uh, Japan pop, these uh, 
pop stars, they're actually like, they're like slaves. You know, you find out that their diet is super regulated. They can't, they have to eat certain stuff. They can't eat a lot. You know, they end up having to be like consorts to like really high up Samsung and like Apple people like mm-hmm. take them on a date and sleep with them. And I mean, it's like, it's, that's why they're so, they're like so uh, venerated as pop stars, but they're like miserable. It's like, it's a really shitty side of that you don't see a lot. You yeah. Know? And that's what these fours or whatever, this aspect of In Korea, it's the Han River. Everyone jumps off the Han River. That's their thing. I guess Japan's, I never heard of this before. I didn't know there was a movie. <laughs> yeah, so it when was called, When did the movie come out? It came out about a year or so ago, a year or two ago. Probably, yeah, now thinking about it, two years ago. It was in yeah. 2016. Yeah. Um, the plot, all the details evade me. All I know is that this girl, her sister went to the forest to, um, to kill herself or the his sister went to a went to this forest to go hiking but then she found out it was a suicide forest so then her herself went to the forest to go try to find and rescue her sister but then you know because it's a suicide forest you know it's haunted at night there's legends and this this, and that so it's kind of like a horror movie i wanted to watch it but i heard a lot of bad reviews about it i heard it was like really lame and then there was the negative effect of it that hey this is a real forest and that Mm -hmm. You know, this isn't something that needs to be glorified, you know, because it's a real problem that Japan faces. And with reading all this stuff, too, like I read a thread that apparently in this forest, as you're walking in, there's rope because it's like in the kind of in the ashes of Mount Fuji, uh, the the volcano. Mm -hmm. And there's no cell service because of the whole magnetic thing because of the volcano. There's very terrible service. You can't even get anything. So if you do get lost, you can't find your way out of it. But rope. There's authorities that have gone in there, like, in teams to put ropes, like, all the way around so that way you can find your way out. Mm. And apparently there's signs of encouragement, like, please do not do this. Like, please think of your family. Think of your friends. Think of somebody out there, you know. And apparently there's just so many suicides in this forest that there's – authorities haven't found every dead body, like, in there. Like, there's fresh human remains that just rot. Well, <laughs> because... And, and which is obvious with this video, too. Right? Yeah. The, the day of, what are the odds? Like, like he's just he's just there. I and, like, and I didn't see the original video. But. I, I will actually... I went to go look for it because the way people described it made it sound like... Like, one, they showed everything. Like, they, they, they showed his face, and I didn't see anything that they said his face was censored. But they made it sound like it was the most disturbing and gro- like gory, gr- uh-huh. like... Her like oh like I guess oh, within his yeah. channel probably but. probably and I guess like what mm, regular people would say <laughs> I guess is like horrific yeah. but to me I watched and I was like oh I was like oh. well and it was I don't think the 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 actual footage of, it's really the desecration of it the, yeah the way he disrespect and everything right like that. right because even the videos where <laughs> cartels are I mean even that has a sense of purpose and the sense of their. You you're know, sending for, a message. Not that it's correct, but I'm just saying, like, they are not doing it for just fun. They're doing it because they're, like, you know, we cartel. Like, you know, they so narked or whatever. That was their punishment. They you're got right, caught. right, right. Yeah. I mean, they're doing it to send a message. I mean, it's not a good message, but, I mean, there's this aspect of... There's a reason. They're doing it to be evil. This guy just... I mean, it's really shitty to post. I don't know. It was, it's horrible. It was shitty. It was a shitty situation. Yeah. That's why he's the he's the jerk of the week for everybody's jerk yeah. of the week. Cause, he's the jerk of the year. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> right off the bat. Way, way to kick off 2018, yeah. Logan Paul, you piece of shit. They were saying January 2nd, he posted fucking dead body. Like, yeah, so... And, then, and just made fun of it. You know what I mean? Like... He's dumb. And he was wearing a stupid little Toy Story alien hat, which kind of just made him look dumb as well, hell. And so. all his videos are just stupid. I, he's, I mean, not he's, yeah, he's not funny. He's he's dumb. And his little brother, too, is a little dw- dipshit, too, dweeb. And it's like, they... Like, it's every day, bro. The Disney Channel flow. That's Because, yeah, his little brother was on mm. Disney Channel. And see, they're only famous because they're white. I they're was, they're I buff. He could have been on... I know it's his younger brother because his younger brother made a song called It's Every Day. And the song goes, It's Every Day, Bro, on the Disney Channel flow. Or with the Disney Channel flow. So I know for sure his brother was on uh, Disney Channel. Does it take a little drink break? Drink break? Yeah, I don't know. I, I remember Disney... Okay. I don't know. It doesn't say anything. But yeah, they it says cut ties. Oh, Jake Paul. Jake Paul and Logan Paul. Yeah, Jake Paul's I, I, the I remember the incident was that they rented out some mansion or something and like threw this stupid party and 
all the uh, neighbors made, and Disney was like, okay, this motherfucker's got to go. Yeah. <laughs> like, he can't be associated. Yeah, he moved in. Yeah, he moved into a neighborhood that was like really like <laughs> quiet and secluded and stuff, mm-hmm. and then his stupid little posse and everything, and then uh, right. And then I remember he came to San Antonio when Hurricane Harvey hit, and oh, really? um, he went. Uh, Jake Paul. The little uh-huh. brother, he went to the he went to the Walmart on um, Jones Maltzberger because uh-huh. he was buying like pallets and pallets of uh, bottles of water because they were on their way to Houston to drop water off, <laughs> and he said he said you know to come out to donate stuff, which he kind of said in a playful way because you know like he was kind of like oh hey we're going the squad's going to be here team six or whatever his little squad is called. We're going to be here. If you want to bring donations, you can. Kind of like, we'll be in San Antonio. Here's the address. Come on by. And it was kind of like making it sound like he was going to do this whole big meet and greet thing. Oh. So when he got there and, the, you know, they were filling trucks up and stuff, it turned into a giant riot, so to speak. Uh. Where people were there, not so much just to donate water. There were and people that there. time was crazy. And all the Walmarts and H-E-Bs and shit. Exactly. Like. So it... It was just not a good They're scene. And, Who and then the he, camera? They need to, like, take away their cameras. Like, they should they, be Their vines them. weren't even fucking funny. Like, that's the thing that kind of put them on the map and was they were vine. Just, like, and I was like, their vines... They, I'm but telling you. It sells. It sells. People love them. People fucking love them. It's insane. <laughs> it's insane to think about. Them. They're stupid. And then I hope he... I hope like his all his sponsorships go away. I hope he gets broke. I'm just Amen. like, Amen. get a job, you bum. But <laughs> fucking your abs can't get you out of this one, pal. So, but not to trump him, wink, wink. Oh. So, <laughs> so uh, Donald Trump too is off to a great start in oh. 2018. You know, oh, calling Donald out, Trump. calling out Kim Jong Un right off the bat, and uh. I just don't get it. I don't under, I don't get it. Like, every time I see that motherfucker, and whenever I see a goddamn news post where it's like, President of the, Ameri- of the United States, Donald Trump, like, like, it's like... They say it sarcastically, because uh, they're like, our president. But it's still fucking... I, uh, uh, it's horrible. I follow a news channel on Facebook called Arilang News, and it's a Korean... It's actually Korean-based news for Americans, for Korean Americans, because it's okay. like, what's going on in Korea? So it's Adi, Adi Long is like some weird fucking words. There's a song and like an ancient song called Adi Long. So there's a restaurant here called Adi Long. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yeah, it's just like a common word. Anyways, and that's what I saw today was United States President Donald Trump, you know, tweeted like, oh, fuck. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> what did he tweet? Why does this motherfucker have a Twitter account? <laughs> Why is this cabinet be like, sir? Get off your phone. Like, just get <laughs> stop. off. Stop. Delete the app. We don't need to hear don't it. Understand. Just stop. Just I need, stop. I need to tell a little rocket man, mm. you know, that my button's bigger. It's huge. I saw a political uh, cartoon where it's Trump and Kim Jong-un as, like, babies. Like, really fat, ugly babies mm-hmm. with um, little nukes as their dicks. And they're both, like, showing them off. Like, <laughs> which is basically what's going on here. Like... What did he say? He said, uh, he told Kim Jong-un, someone tell, someone over there that has access to the internet, uh, Kim Jong-un, that I have better nuclear weapons, they actually work, and I have the button, or a bigger button. I have a bigger button on my desk at all times, too. Because Kim Jong-un, because Kim Jong-un told, you know, his citizens on New Year's Day that, um, that he has a button at all times on his desk that he can press and, you know, can eradicate America or whatever. So oh, we all know it's false. <laughs> yeah, I was like, we've seen their tests. So, but Donald Trump, not to be outdone, no, I have the bigger button. It works. It can get over there. Which is also interesting because I also read an article about how they were saying how their language is interesting because they both speak Korean, right? Blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. They both speak Korean, but the North has always been so, it's isolated. So their their Korean is different than South Korean Korean because South Koreans have like they're saying like sixty percent of their language now is borrowed words from like English like mm-hmm. you know they have words for coffee and uh, you know they use English words for coffee and car and you know even like lotion and shampoo and stuff like that like they borrowed they if you went to Korea and was like shampoo and they're like. I mean, it might sound funny, but like, sham- they'll know what shampoo is, right? Mm-hmm. Versus North Korea, obviously, they're so isolated. They still call it, like, washing water, like, in the Korean <laughs> word. Like, right. not to make washing fun water. of it, but it is just different. So they were just saying how Kim Jong-un was actually, he just okayed this, like, 
working with South and North Korea to make like this dictionary for North and South Koreans, which is like a step. It's like a it's a very little step, but it's like the step of like opening up some communication and kind of starting to well, work. Well, because also them. too, and also too, with that same speech, he wished luck for um he wished luck to the South Koreans in the upcoming Olympics. And he says, make our country proud. Yeah. So I was kind of like, well, that was pretty cool to see, I guess, because I know like how divided I guess it is with what's that the neutral zone that's, mm-hmm. you know, between, yeah, you know, that's between both um, countries. So I thought that was cool because I, I've always assumed, you know, from <laughs> fucking like, you know, South Park and, you know, sign- yeah. kind of like stupid things, which I shouldn't trust information from those is like, you know, that like North Korea hated South Korea. You know, that's how I always assumed it was. Yeah, yeah, no. So, I don't think we ever talked about it, but um, Kim Jong-un is the third dictator so far. Because it was Kim Jong-il, and then Kim Jong-il's father. It was was actually Kim Jong's son was the grand his grandfather. Mm -hmm. And when that happened, that was when the Korean War went down. Um, And what had really happened was that Korea has always been like this... Um, a slave country to like Japan, Imperial Japan and China. Mm-hmm. They've always kind of been like pushed around a lot. Um, so Kim Jong Sun, I might be saying that wrong. You know, we'll fact check it later. But uh, <laughs> Kim Jong Sun, I believe that's, he's his grandfather. And he started this thing, and that's where this all kind of started. The only thing was that he really it was one Korea at the time. He became the p- political leader. And what really was amazing about him was that he was the first to stand up for Korea against things like China and Japan, where the people were like, they're just kind of like, okay, well, Japan and China just kind of, they get to do whatever they get to do because they're bigger and better than us. Kim Jong-un was like, no, like, we're Korean, we have our shit, you know, we can, we can survive without blah, blah, blah. That's what Vander, that's what really got him going with the people. But then there was that divide where, okay, well, now we're getting, we're not very, we're not an ancient civilization where we're starting to become like more modernized with the Americas and Germany and, you know, the UK and all that. Um, and that's where South and North kind of divided. And then Kim Jong-il, his son, he started going off the, off the rafters with it. Mm-hmm. See, that's, it was him that started going like too much, like yeah. dictator. Because Kim jong Sun was kind of like, he just stood up for the people. Mm-hmm. And then his son started being like, well, we don't even need anyone. Let's not blah, blah, blah. That's where he started isolating everyone. And then the South broke off. So Kim Jong-un, he's third generation. And the thing is, is that since it's kind of this um, hierarchy of, of bloodline, hopefully, maybe someone has some sense. You know what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. they can break off. I mean, all he has to say is like, you know, we're good. <laughs> like, <laughs> right. You know, it really is. Um, it just, there's this whole aspect of keeping everyone, you know, the North Koreans think they're like the most precious people. He's made them believe that, like they're the most, whatever. All the propaganda and all, all that stuff. All the propaganda and stuff. And, um. Because I know they hate America. They hate America. For sure. And it's, and it's because America imposes so many policies too. You know what I mean? Like, they did it to South Korea, too. I mean... We met all South, Honestly, stuff. South Korea would not be South Korea if it wasn't for American force. Like, mm-hmm. we're all in there. So, um... Also, have you heard... There's a conspiracy that, you know, it was, uh... There's only, like, three countries that don't have the, um... What's it? Rutherford? The bank system? You know, we all have the same bank system. There's a family that controls all the banks in the world. Oh, the, like, like the, um... Rockefeller. Rockefeller. Yeah. No, 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 not Rockefeller. No, that's gas. That was gas in America. Oh. I think it's Rutherford. I don't know. We'll fact check it later. <laughs> um, there, there's a family that owns all the banks in every country. And, like, one of them was Afghanistan, too. And it wasn't until we invaded and, you know, took over their oh. stuff. All the dictators had the ones that didn't have these, um, these bank systems that, you know, like, oh, you need to put your money in the pot for the rest of the world that's ours you know our family owns it so there's a conspiracy that that's the reason why we why we uh demonize north korea also and uh i think iraq still doesn't or something but you know that there's like three countries in the world that don't have these bank systems so hmm. i don't know if i buy into that but it was interesting yeah. to think about because yeah it's kind of true man <laughs> yeah but we may be facing facing a nuclear winter soon, so... Well, they can't reach us. See, the thing is, is that <laughs> they, they have nuclear warheads, but they're so isolated. Their scientists 
have nuclear bombs. They figured that much out. But it can only reach, like, Japan. That's, like, as far far as it will reach. Poor Japan. They don't deserve to be nuked again. Well, and, that's, and that's really the... It's the UN thing where we're like, well, no one fucking North Korea because we don't want Japan going because they're second in the economy. <laughs> so, right. Um, and then they don't want to take South Korea out either because we have a lot of investment in South Korea with all their stuff, too. They have, you know, they have Samsung. They have K-pop. Yeah, that's a big thing in America that's making revenue, too. So. Yeah, like, it's, like, crazy how... Well, Samsung. Popular. Samsung, right off the bat, is giant. Hyundai. Exactly. Hyundai is Korean. Um, Honda's Japan, I think. But, yeah, Honda's you know, uh, we have a bunch... You know, Koreans have a lot of... Mm-hmm. Uh, and America has a lot of invested in South Korea. So, North Korea can definitely take out South Korea, for sure. They'll never reach us, though. Their bombs can't reach us. They just... They can't. See, I'm just like... <laughs> what I'm more afraid of is that Trump will try to test nuclear weapons and end up nuking one of an American <laughs> city or something. You know, yeah. well... That's we, probably more... <laughs> we didn't need them on the map to begin with. Yeah. Would you we, miss them? Would you miss them? <laughs> yeah. We have more space. Mm-hmm. Delaware was not a valuable... Con- it was not a valuable state. Right, yeah. In our continent. What, uh... Yeah, Delaware. <laughs> of course, Yeah. Detroit, it's all, they're all criminals. I took we, care of it. <laughs> we solved Flint's water problem. We nuked it. We just got rid of it. <laughs> we got rid of it. We got rid of Texas and California because they were bringing in rapists and Mexicans all right. over the place. <laughs> we nuked Alabama because they didn't vote for the right people. <laughs> I thought Alabama liked Trump, no? Well, yeah, but no, I'm saying because uh, they didn't vote for uh, oh, oh, what's his face? It is the senator. Yeah. yeah. Roy Moore. Roy yeah. Moore. Moore. Uh, <laughs> it's just. Uh, God, Trump, that's... It's just country, man. Three more years. Three more years. You know, what's funny is that the trend is that they always get eight years, though. Yeah. I don't, I'm don't. i ready for that. I'm ready for eight years. George Bush, Obama, Bill Obama, Clinton. Bill Clinton. Man. Who was before... I think before Clinton was Bush Sr., wasn't it? I think so. Yeah. And Unless they're... Yeah, it was, it was uh, Bush Sr. Before him was... Uh, Ford? Was it? Gerald Ford? Reagan? I think it was Reagan. Jimmy Carter. Because Reagan was in the 80s. Yeah. yeah, Carter, yeah, yeah. Carter was right after Reagan. Because Jimmy Carter is still alive. There's only a few... And Carter was considered a really shit president. Even though he was a great person. Yeah. I still say the best president of all time was Franklin Delano Roosevelt. FDR. FDR. He, he fucking, I think this is true. Um, I know there's, I think he's the only president that served three terms. Yes, that is true. He's actually the reason why they made the two term limit. Yeah. But he was a badass president. But he was great. He helped yeah. us win World War Two. Yeah. From a wheelchair. From a wheelchair. And he's, uh, and he kind of inspired Eisenhower to be president thanks to him. Cause, uh, General Eisenhower became president after that. I like Clinton. <laughs> He was a good, he was a president when I was he born. Was a good so. president, me too. He was he was economically a great president. That yeah. reminds me of that uh John Mulaney, the stand up special. Mm-hmm. Have you seen John Mulaney? He's all like, uh, "What's your favorite food? I don't know, French fries." <laughs> He's like, "I love French fries." That sounds just like him too. <laughs> I don't know French fries. I, I don't know if I've seen the one you're talking about, but I have. It's on, it's on Netflix. You gotta check it out. It's I see, he had a couple on there, didn't he? Because I have seen one. He of has on new in town. New in town's his first one, and the comeback kid is the most. Comeback recent one. kid. I think that's the one I saw. That's the one that talks about Bill Clinton. Is the other one still on? Both of them are on there. They're both oh, Netflix specials. I love... I like John Mulaney. I used to listen to him on my Pandora radio because I would put on Comedy Station mm-hmm. and his skits would come on. Fucking great. He used to be a writer for SNL for Saturday Night Live. I can... And when he has a TV show, the cartoon, The Big Mouth, right? Oh, that show is so on, awesome. Oh, yeah, he plays... A, he, he co-created it with Nick Kroll. He's but, uh, hilarious. Did you watch Dave Chappelle's new specials? I haven't seen it. I watched them both. I need to. I probably, I'm going to watch them tonight. Now that Miss Teach is at uh, the house tonight, I'm gonna she's there moms, I'm going to watch them. See, see next Wednesday Leslie's going to go see Katy Perry. So okay, I'll do it at your place. <laughs> yeah, we could do it at my place. Get fucking drunk and yeah, I'll take Thursday off. <laughs> right, <laughs> fucking yeah, we could do it. Yeah, she's gonna be gone. She's probably gonna be out till who knows how long that concert will be. It's Katy Perry. She could probably last four fucking hours long. But that sounds cool. Yeah, she's going with my mom and my sister, and I was like, yeah, you guys. Oh, that's cool. Go do that. So, um. So, yeah, because they, like, they, they like Indian food. They like eating Indian food. Mm. I've had Indian food once when yeah. I was younger. Yeah. 
disgusting. Yeah. Everything was spicy. I was like, so good. I was like, the fuck is this? Everything is not spicy. Everything we I eat at that like place is spicy. Too picky of an eater because their I did it. It was, food was so different. Than the only the, the only thing I could kind of tolerate was the naan. Because it was like garlic <laughs> naan. Yeah. It's so it's kind of like, it's, uh, okay. it's a tortilla. Uh-huh. And then um, they had some meatballs. Uh-huh. And like they tasted a little bit weird. <laughs> my dad was telling me they were goat meatballs. And my mom was like, don't tell him that. It's going to gross them out even more. It's probably weird. And I'm just like. They do eat a lot of goat. And I was like, and it lamb. It tasted weird. It's so good. I love Indian food. And I was like, because then I went to the movies that night. And then I ate like a bunch of popcorn because I was starving. Popcorn's delicious too, though. But I, when I was vegetarian, Indian food was my shit. I used to eat yeah. tons of it because it's all. I mean, you, not all of vegetarian, but they have ton. They everything that they make with meat, they make exactly the same with <laughs> vegetarian because the countries have vegetarian. It's so good. Disgusting. Chickpeas. And- See, and Leslie started eating Indian food when we started dating because um, I forgot where me and my dad went. It was me and my dad and my brother. We went out. To go do something. I think it was when me and my dad went to go see Black Sabbath. Or maybe it was before that. I don't know. But it wasn't until I went and did a, I went out and did something with my dad. And it was kind of like a guy's night. Where it was me and my dad and my brother. And then my mom was like, well, you know what? Well, I'm going to take Celine, my sister. And I'm going to take Leslie out to dinner. And I was like, fine, whatever. Do whatever you want. I'm doing what we're doing. <laughs> and then so she was like, we're going to go out to Bombay Hall. Right up the street. Leslie was like, oh, I don't know. I've never had Indian food. Mom was like, don't worry. You're going to love it. You're going to love it. You told her that? No, my mom told her that. Oh. Mom was like, don't worry. You're going to love it. You're going to love it. When, now Leslie, like, oh, ask your mom if we could go to Bombay Hall. Is she a picky eater? Leslie? Leslie? Not really. Oh. No. But, um, she just doesn't, she doesn't like eating broke people food. (laughs) She doesn't like eating, she doesn't like eating ramen. She doesn't like eating just like sandwiches. She doesn't like eating just like a I love sandwiches. hamburger helper. I'm like, not a hamburger helper. I just I don't really. I mean, I like eat a lot of pasta though. She doesn't like eating a. She doesn't like eating a shitty on a shingle. Shit on a shingle. Yeah. Shit on a shingle. Yeah. You've had that. You're a military oh, yeah, kid. Yeah, 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 you've had that. Yeah. Just some beef gravy and toast. Mm-hmm. Boom meal. Yeah. So, so oh, that's probably what I could eat next week. Well, bis- I eat you on know, biscuits. Too. Well, yeah, biscuits are good too. Yeah. But uh, when my dad would make it, if my mom was out working late, my dad would be like, "Oh, time for SOS." Yeah, SOS. And yeah, he, that's right. And he would make it. And I guess only people that were either in the military or had military relatives know what that is. Yeah. Because when I first, when I remember when we first started living together. Leslie was like, what should we have for dinner? I don't want to eat the same thing. I was like, let's have shit on a shingle. Yeah. She was like, what the fuck did you just say? <laughs> That's like, kind of jarring to tell someone. Right? I was like, let's have shit on a shingle. She was like, what? And I was like, you know. I was like, it's it's beef, gravy, and on toast. And she's like, what the fuck? Like, no, that's disgusting. I'm like. What? It's was, a very country thing, too. I was like, do you like gravy? Yes. Do you like beef? Yes. Do you like toast? Yeah. Add all three together, it's delicious. Mine's a little different. Mine's it was biscuits and it was sausage. Great. Oh really? Yeah. We we did it with beef. I'm sure it's very similar. Yeah. Well, whatever meat but is available. Is, okay, okay, so here's why it's called shit and shingle for those out there that right. don't get it. Sh- <laughs> uh, uh, gravy with beef or sausage. It's white with these little pieces of beef or sausage that are gray or black looking on toast or on the biscuit, which. Is like pigeon shit on a shingle of a house. Like when they shit on the house, <laughs> you know, bird shit has that little piece of black with white. Which why why do they have white shit? I don't know. But it's white with a piece of black always all the time. So shit on a shingle is is meat gravy. <laughs> it's and, white gravy and bread with meat that looks like shit, like pigeon shit on bread. It's fucking, See, and it's great. It's delicious. It's I love it. It's <laughs> filling so like. But like, it's biscuits and gravy. That's I mean, because you can go to Cracker Barrel and, and get it. And, and there's and a there's a specific name for it too. Because when I because <laughs> when I was trying to Google it to show Leslie, because I always vouch my case for this meal. I was like, you need to try it, babe. Like yeah. it's it's filling. It's cheap and easy to make. I'm mm-hmm. like, it's so awesome. It in Europe is actually called something. It's actually like a dish, like oh. a main dish meal, but it, like it has a fancy name. It's I'm probably like, French. I was like, French would have all the poor stuff that's tasting. Right. I was like, I'm still gonna call it SOS. She's on a single. And so one time I made it my I made myself two pounds of beef for dinner because I sent out two oh, pounds shit. of meat, 
And she was like, I'm not going to eat that. I don't want it. And, like, she ate before she came home. Wait, so you just like, made two pounds of beef? I made two pounds of beef, made it with the gravy, and I ate a, a pound alone for dinner by myself. I was like, I'm eating the fuck out of this That's shit. That's a lot of meat. Hell yeah. For gravy. I love meat, dude. <laughs> That's like... It's really like a hamburger. Really. I was like, like, it's so good. It's so like a sweet sandwich. Mm-hmm. And so um, I brought some leftovers to work. I'm like, I'm going to bring yeah. this to work. I was like, this is awesome. So I was eating it. And my one friend, he was like, what the fuck are you eating? I was like, dude, it's so good. And then my two military friends that are like, oh, man, David brought that shit on a shingle. Hell yeah. yeah, yeah. And I shared some with them because they used, yeah, you would used to eat that when they were deployed or out in the field right. and stuff. Because that's breakfast all thing. the food they would have. Yeah. And I was like, hell yeah. And they're like, what? They're like, man, we haven't had this shit in so long. It's this easy is to not- make. It's quick. It's, it's easy. It's awesome. filling. It's... High, high calorie. <laughs> See, because my dad would always make that if my mom was out late at night and working stuff. So I'm like, all right, that's what we're having. So I always associate that same thing. Well, shit, I'm the only one here. Might as well eat. So I can only eat that when I'm at, I'm at the house. You alone. know what's funny? Is I never, my dad never actually made it for me. He would just tell me about it. Mm. I only know. I just know that's what he used to. And I didn't really used to eat it as a kid. Um, it wasn't until later that... I still don't really eat. I mean, I have had it, but I didn't really grow up eating it. I just knew about it. I See, it was thing. it was a struggle meal for us. It yeah, was like kind of yeah. like, do we have beef? Do we have a thing of gravy? Okay, we have. See, bread. my mom, my mom would end up making something Mexican, like poor Mexican food, for, before my dad got a chance to make poor white food. <laughs> I mean, like because right. it's busy poor white. You know, biscuits and gravy is more like an Alabama Southern thing or like a Louisiana Southern thing versus Texas is kind of different. Gravy. Yeah, this is a gravy. Texas and California and Florida, we're all Southern too, but it's different than like. For that region. I don't know why, but it is. Yeah. Her accents are different, too. So. That just made my day that you know what that is. Because like, I'm telling you, I guess it's only military people. That... I think it is, yeah. <laughs> so I'm like, man, eh, whatever. It's, it's like, I love it. I Although I always end up, I'd rather have like a, I love bref- breakfast sandwiches. Like, mm-hmm. That is my go-to. But that, if I had a breakfast sandwich smothered in gravy, would be great, too. Man. But... <laughs> See, so that's probably what I'll eat next week when she's out when she's out at the concert. Yeah, yeah. Nice. I'll be over. Right? Man, I'll fucking make a whole mess. Make a whole mess. I'll make biscuits. <laughs> <laughs> right? I never had them with a biscuit. I just know you really? with a bread product. How like funny. it was just always toast. That's what we always defaulted to. Yeah, well, so Dinner date. Cool, cool. Teaching dinner date. Teaching dinner. What else we got? We're at an hour. I know we we're stretching for material. Uh, la, 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 la. I don't have anything that's like I'm not really passionate about anything right now. I mean, really? the New Year's cool 2018. I didn't really not like 2017. I think 2017 had its ups and downs like every fucking year. I lost a car. I got a car. Um, I had some struggles with my car. So <laughs> I'll get to go. The neighbors are gone. I guess they they they're gone. Just gone. gone. Never saw a truck. Never saw. You know you see them fucking leaving. Um, You're welcome. I have no idea. I, I took care no of it. Did you? Yeah. Appreciate it. Put my peepee in his mouth. Nice. And so it was, that's the weirdest fucking thing. I just don't get it. I don't. They're just gone. It. They're just gone. Probably made them run out of town, bro. We didn't do it. They. We were ready to leave. We were trying to get a house to <laughs> so just get out of here. And, I mean, they're not. They're way better. We're not woken up by fucking sex. I feel like. I know they have like. Airbnb things where like people buy Airbnb like they they buy a house apartments. just to rent them out. Well, they rent apartment comp. They rent apartment rooms, and they do a Airbnb Airbnb out of them. But I feel like these people they were there for a long time. It was like I mean it was through the summer. It was through the whole summer, and you know the beginning of whenever we started the podcast last year. Um, so I mean they were there for a long time. Like, is there a thing for that? Like, what if what if it's like a little extended kind of like fucking transients just got <laughs> squatters I, i've never seen i mean but they had tr- the guy's truck and the girl's car i have not seen since i mean two at least two or three months now they it's probably just... got busted for insurance fraud so but then i never i never saw anyone move out i never saw them move in what are the fucking chances i what mean if, what if their kids are just there but where did they go <laughs> Where did they go? Who cares? Where did they go? They're gone, sir. I don't get it. But are they coming back? I do care. <laughs> I, they're gone. They're gone. That's cool. Whatever. I'll, whatever. But are they coming back? You That's what gets me up at night. You just hear a knock at the door. We're back. You no, know, I hear fucking creaking at my... you hear, oh, we're back. Oh, we're back. Oh, God. Man. Fuck yeah, that. I, I don't know. I don't know. Do you have any New Year's resolutions for 2018? <sighs> 
you know, <laughs> I want to get healthy. I don't really give a shit about Boo. weight. I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit about looking good or losing weight. I want to drink less and not Boo. eat so fucking much. <laughs> Boo. I, my biggest vice is that I just. With my job that I'm at, I tend to, I will just eat because I'm bored because we have a full kitchen with free snacks. So I'm always going in there grabbing Cheez-Its and peanuts and M&M's and sodas. Sounds like a badass job to me, sir. Uh, well, for the past year and a half, it has been, but I've gained like 60 pounds since I worked there. Oh, shit. And then I, fuck, I drink every day, so. I've been drinking every day since uh, every day. Christmas Eve. So, I don't know. Uh, Christmas Eve Eve. I would say I live off tubs every morning. Every <laughs> night I take a couple tubs. Every morning I take a couple tubs. Sometimes I puke them up. Sometimes I don't. I want to, yeah, drink break. Cheers to 2018. I was watching Friends. So, Friends. I've been watching Friends. And you know, um, I mean, how... I don't really remember. Fun Bobby. Fun Bobby? Yeah. Fun Bobby. I'm fucking Fun Bobby. See, if I... You know how Monica, boyfriend Fun Bobby, and she gets... She's like... Everyone's like, man, he drinks so much. I need to do something about that. And she does. He stopped drinking. No one up, likes yeah, him. Yeah, no Fun That's Bobby. That's me. I'm Fun Bobby. If I stopped drinking, there would be no podcast. When he came there'd over for... No- <laughs> When he came over for New Year's Eve, and they're all, and he was all like bummed about everything, so it's kind of yeah. like, give him a drink. She's all drinking more. Yeah, Mr. T's probably really drinking and then, more. And then Bobby's all, you ha- I think, Monica, I think you have a problem. <laughs> have a problem. Yeah. That's me. I'm fun Bobby. That's why I'm like, I don't know. I just like to drink. See, Leslie wants me to get in shape, because she's like all paranoid about my health and diabetes, and my parents have lost a lot of weight. My parents were... I don't want to say fat, but you know, they were, I just assumed parents were big. Like it just, so parents were, fat. yeah. Uh. <laughs> but my mom lost a lot of weight. She started eating a lot healthy. Um, my dad stopped, you know, he stopped drinking soda and eating as much salt and he lost a lot of weight. For his birthday, we bought him a, t- uh, a Star Wars t-shirt and we bought him 3X because that's what he always buys. It fits him like a dress. Mm-hmm. He wore it to the, when we went to go see Star Wars in theaters. Fit him like a dress, like it's draping on him. Now he only wears a two X, and I guess if it's better, but I was gifted a three X sweater this Christmas, and it fits perfectly. Really, I love it. <laughs> I was like, I wear XL, and some of my XL T shirts are starting to get a little bit tight on me. So I'm like, Have you seen my parents? It fucking sucks. I've seen your dad. Okay, well, you see my dad. He's mm-hmm. fit. He's a fit guy. He's buff. And my mom, they both, they were both. Um, Bodybuilders. Oh, really? Yeah. I mean, my dad mo- was mainly, a, you know, that's why he's so big. My mom was just always into working out. She's always been very... She's a Zumba instructor, too. Oh, wow. Yeah. Um, and so I've always... She's always been kind of, like, bitter that... Because me and my sister are both fat. So <laughs> <laughs> she's always like, how the fuck are my kids... But meanwhile, our family is big. She's actually the only one in our family that... She works really hard to not um, gain weight. To not gain weight versus. <clears throat> I have thirty three though, so I got to. Yeah, that's my mom. Okay. Yeah, she's fifty years old. Okay, <laughs> it's crazy, right? Mm-hmm. And she's always giving me shit because, and you know, she don't really care, but she's just like, you need to be healthy. I don't really care about losing weight. I I can tell I'm getting unhealthy though. Like I can't walk upstairs. Like oh without, yeah, that's you know what I mean. When, I mean I smoke, I drink, I eat like shit. Like see I just, the smoking thing, I will give you. That's <laughs> smoking. And that's what does it. Well, I can't not <laughs> smoke when I'm drinking. Like what if you vape? <laughs> no, I was I was gifted a vape pen a couple years ago for <laughs> Christmas, and I it was when Wolf of Wall Street came out. Mm, okay, it was actually when the movie came out. I rented it on Redbox. And I sat there with my, my new vape pen, and I, it's like a three-hour movie, right? And I oh, sat yeah, it's there exactly two puff, hours, 59 puff, minutes. Puff. And um, I think I, and I was drinking. I had like two drinks, and I can drink, and I started puking. I was mm. sick. I, you know, with a cigarette, I could tame myself with the nicotine because I know mm-hmm. a cigarette every other hour or whatever. That vape pen, I mean, it was two and a half hours of just puffing nicotine. Mm-hmm. I got nicotine sick, and mm. I I don't like vape. I can't even. People are like, "Oh, it tastes." I was like, "Nope, I don't want it. That's no gross." Like, what was like? Would you ever stop smoking? No, I was like, "This is about <laughs> no, me." No, I, w- I would. I like to smoke. I just like to smoke. I like to, and I don't. I 
<laughs> Here's the thing is that I don't have any any of my addictions that it's so bad that I need to quit. You know, like when people are like um like drinking, if I was like recklessly driving, cheating on my girlfriend, beating her up, you know, flunking out of school, not going to work, those are all things that are like, okay, you have a teach, fun. <laughs> let's you know, we need to clean this up. But I don't cheat, I don't beat, I don't drive, I go to work, I pass in school. Um, there's really like well, you should just kind of stop drinking because it's unhealthy. Like, yeah, but I like to. Yeah. So, and there's not any other external reasons of why to quit. Same with smoking. I only, I really only smoke. Um, I make a pack last about like two weeks, which is that's really, better than really a lot good. of people. Yeah. My mother-in-law, um, love her to death, but she's a big smoker too, and we smoke. But she, she's trying to quit. She's like. Oh, I wish I could smoke like you. Just, I just want to smoke like a cigarette a day, like two cigarettes a day, because she smokes like half a pack a day. Oh, shit. You know what I mean? Like, she's constantly buying pack cigarettes. So I'm like, I have people wanting to smoke like I smoke. You know, I have people, smokers that are trying to smoke the way I smoke. Um, so that's, for me too, I'm like, well, I don't want to quit smoking. I was I like, like that, is, that is true. Like, um... You know, like, I'm going to smoke two or three tonight, and that'll be it. Mm-hmm. And I won't smoke till, what's today? Wednesday, I won't smoke till Saturday, probably. Saturday night, when I'm out doing something, you know? Yeah, I will give you that. And you had, especially when you, um, when you had your whole two situation when we first started recording. Oh, it was yeah. like, you did good with that too, where you weren't smoking for a tiny bit, like a week or so. Yeah. And, um... I was scared. <laughs> right. So... I'm not like, addicted. You know this is like, that's why when I asked you, I was like, if, would you ever stop smoking? And I was like, not so much because like, oh, do you know what you're doing about it? I'm pretty sure you're well aware. If I had like an addiction, I feel like if I had the addiction, like if I really was addicted, that, like, that would give me the kick in the ass to be like, oh yeah, I need to stop. Mm-hmm. But it's not, which is like a conundrum because it's like, I'm not addicted. That's why I don't feel the need to stop. That's why I keep smoking, but it doesn't really help. Like, mm-hmm. <laughs> no, I get you. I get you. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, Leslie wants me to... She wants me to lose weight because she doesn't like my beer belly. Well, how do you look at me? <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Although you're headed this way, David. Uh-huh. So. <laughs> it's like, I'm getting there. Yeah. It's like, um... But, you know, it is true. I have a shitty diet. I have, you know... Well, and then like, you just don't like... Certain, it's hard for you. It's going to be hard for you to diet. Cause... It's like, it's just... I like... I just like meat. Like, that's what's so easy about, like, when I was actually working out to gain muscle mass... You eat protein, you eat chicken, beef, like you, yeah. you, you eat less greasy food, yeah. you know, and stuff like that. You eat a lot of meat. So I'm like, hell yeah, that's awesome. You eat a lot of protein. But let, no carbs. <laughs> yeah. So, so like no like, sodas, no sugar, no bread. It's like, but. <laughs> that's the part that I think. The soda is the part that you is can. so hard for me. Yeah. Like that's, that's the part where I'm just like, fuck, like I can go, I can go three, four days without a soda, but then I'm just like, I can't fucking take it. Like, I need a sip of a Coca-Cola. Like, mm. oh my God. Like, a fucking Sprite. Give me anything. Like, I try. Like, we don't have any soda at the house, and I'm getting, I'm trying to contain myself for it. Like, I only have, like, a soda either with my lunch or with my dinner. Because, like, <laughs> it's like a glass of wine. <laughs> right? It's like, so it's like, I'm, because this, this is honestly how it was. Like, um, prior to, like, maybe, like, going beginning of the year to like November because that's kind of when I started weaning myself off <laughs> wake up you know do my morning routine brush my teeth da, 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 go to work play so every morning I play three or four games of ping pong with my friend Jesus <laughs> kind of get my morning workout in that, that's where because <laughs> it do you get it it yeah, works yeah, you yeah, yeah. ping pong is crazy after that go downstairs we both grab something to drink um I grab a soda Finish the soda before I even get on the phones as I'm walking up the stairs and get to my desk and everything. So like chug it. <laughs> yeah, I'm all... Yeah. And then... Well, also, too, like, I, I drink it when I'm, you know, I'm saying good morning to the team. I'm walking around the team saying hi to everybody. And Because we always stop... Because um, we get to work around, like, 9.15, 9.20. We play ping pong till about 9.35, 9.40-ish. Go downstairs, buy something. Go back to our desk. So we still have about 20 minutes before we have to actually get on the phones. Write my stats on the board, say hi to everybody, and sit down. So I usually finish it, you know, while I'm talking and stuff. <laughs> Go to break at 12, play ping pong. If if I'm really thirsty, well, I'm like, man, I'm kind of thirsty. I'll buy a soda at the little break room, go back to my desk. And that will take me to lunch. Usually with my lunch, I have a soda packed with my lunch. Mm. Drink the soda. After my lunch, buy another soda. Go sit down, drink the soda, yada, yada, yada. Finish the day out, get home, drink two or three sodas with my lunch or with my dinner, 
if I'm going to be drinking, my default mixed drink is Coke and Fireball. <laughs> Have a few glasses of Coke and Fireball. They're like a two liter. Like if I were to buy a two liter for the house, two liter will last about two, three days. Because <laughs> I, I would blaze through it. Yeah. And I drink a lot of soda. But here lately, I'm doing better. Now with my dinners, I'm drinking a bottle of water with those little mixed packets. Mm -hmm. And even at that, Leslie made me buy sugar-free packets. Yeah. So it tastes weird to me. Now I'm kind of like, okay, they're not too bad. But I was like a child. Nip, no, I don't want to. No. Yeah. Buy me the Jolly Rancher ones. No. <laughs> I don't want a Steva. That was one thing too. She almost bought me the ones that has like the fake sugar in it. Like the yeah. Stevia, whatever it's uh -huh. called. And I, I literally took it out of the cart and I threw it. Well, it's all fake sugar. Well, well. But Stevia is really weird tasting. I was like, I'd rather have the sugar free than the fake sugar. So when she put the the fake sugar ones, I took it out of the cart. Well, and sugar I free threw is it. just NutraSweet or like as far uh, as what is it as far to me? No, not it's the little H E B ones. It's like the aspartame. That's what it's called. Like in Diet Coke. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. I don't know. Stevia's supposed to be better for you. Stevia's natural sweetener versus aspartame. Well, is... I don't think these have fake sugar in them. But was it sweet? Not but really. But sugar free. No. Sure, it's no. It has aspartame for sure. I like to double check it when I get home. Anyway. Not that it matters to me. I'm just like I don't. I don't. Sugar like, free tends. I don't to like be... the idea of healthy food. Yeah. Let me put it that sugar way. Sugar free means aspartame. If you're calling fake sugar, it's stevia's fake sugar in the sense that it's natural. Well, that's what like I'm saying. She sweet. put that box of like yeah. the the lemonade packets. Yeah. And I took it out and I threw it out of the cart. Like that's the point I was trying to make. Where I was like, no, mm. throw. I'm not having this. Like yeah. buy me these stupid. Ones that say it's a hundred percent natural, and all this See, bullshit. See, I, I don't really drink. So I don't drink soda throughout the day. I put it with my alcohol, and so a two liter will last me like, I'd say three to four days. But because, but I drink with all my alcohol. That's that's the only time I drink soda is with my alcohol. I don't know. I just I took a shit the other day, and I went. I bent around to wipe my ass, and I got a cramp, and I just felt like <laughs> I am so unhealthy, and I can't even bend around to like wipe my ass correctly without cramping. Like I, I think flexibility is like a sign of healthiness. Like I just want to be more like healthy, like bendy, and just like just like more. I don't care about being big. I really don't care. I got someone that likes it. So like, I that's don't what care. I'm saying. I'm like, I don't care about being muscular or like toned or anything. I just want to be like little healthy. Tweets. I just don't want to. I want to be able to wipe my ass without getting a cramp. Like right. that's fucking sucks. See, I want to be like. I do admit, like, yeah, I am concerned because diabetes, heart problems, diabetes. all that stuff. Like, runs in my family. Yeah, it runs crazy in my family. So I do get Leslie's concerns, but I'm like, at the same time. For me myself, like, when we start having kids, I want to be able to play catch and stuff with my kids mm. and not be out of breath. So mm. I'm like, I want to have energy, but... Who so cares? there you go. All right, 2018, we're doing it. Maybe. Right. Who cares? Hopefully. Who cares? It's like... As I drink my drink. Right. And I'm going to whisper my cigarette later, too. Right, so... Um, I'm kind of tapped out. Yeah. It's like... Not if really any uh, listeners have any questions they want us to get on about. Any questions, comments, concerns? What's your New Year's resolution? What's your New Year's resolution? <laughs> Let us know. We have all year to talk about it because we ain't going to... Oh, yeah. So Leslie and I aren't moving after all. We decided we're going to do one more year. Nice. Here at the department, just cut a... We don't want to go through the hassle of applying and doing we deposits moving and out, stuff. But I don't know where. Mrs. Teach takes care of it. I, I go where I need to go. I stay where I need to stand. I sign where I need to sign. You know right. what I mean? so, Here's my money. How much do I have? I wouldn't mind. We have those little mugs, though, in the kitchen. That's what sucks. Which ones? I don't know. They're Are not, they like mini roaches? They look like mini, but they're not. They have the little... They're not roaches. But they look... They look like little roaches, but they have, like, a little, like, those little spots on the back of them. They're kind of white. Like, they don't look like... They look <laughs> like... In first, they look like a roach, but they're not red. They're black. We're getting those, too. Yeah. Well, and we I just have, thought they were roaches. I thought they were baby they're not, roaches. Or they might be a type of... But they're not, like, a dirty roach. It's yeah, like, they're like those, like, It's water... like the apartment's fucking fault. And they... Yeah. They sent us, like, a thing, and we got home, like, at 9 o'clock at night one time. They were like, hey, tomorrow, we're gonna... We're gonna take care of it. Get all of your kitchen stuff out right now. And I was like... We're not going to spray unless all your stuff is Right, and out. we were like, yeah. well, fuck, that's in like five hours and we got to go to sleep, so... No, I agree. No, it. yeah, we've, we've gotten those letters too where they don't come by and spray them. So, and I'm deathly terrified of bugs. Like, 100%, like, 
Like, that's the crazy thing. I can witness somebody... No, you can't bring my kitchen. I was like... Everywhere. No, I... Oh, like, it fucking terrifies me. And, like, uh... Because earlier this year, it was those little gnats. Like, those little gnats were popping up out of nowhere. And I'm like... And I would drive myself to the point of tears of frustration because I'm like, my apartment is fucking spotless. Everything is clean. I have yeah. sanitized everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why am I getting these fucking bugs? I'm not gross. And then yeah. I remember one time I had like a mental breakdown. My parents were over. And my dad goes, oh, he goes, San Antonio has this little gnat problem. Like it's not, it's not because your apartment is dirty. He's like, it's just, that bad. he's like, it's just a little city. But now it's these little fucking roaches. Yeah. Again, I'm driving myself to the point of insanity where I'm like. What am I doing wrong? But I'm glad I'm not the only one that's getting no, these little bugs. Thing. And I bought those. I have bug bombs, right? I but have those little trap things that they do. don't fucking work. I have them too. They're not working. We bought bug bombs, like the smoke bombs. Uh-huh. The only thing is that you can't have pets with them. And the idea was that we'll we'll put the dog outside because dog outside can work for a day because they're four hours. I'll put one of the the big cat in here. She'll be fine. I'll put like a towel under there. Yeah, I'll prevent. Put a little cat in her. She's usually there anyways during the day. <laughs> Pop it off in the morning. The only thing is, it's so cold. I feel badly with the dog. I'm I'm not gonna. Leave so I'm waiting for it to kind of warm up, mm-hmm. um, and then I'll try to do it. But even then, I'm still kind of worried. Cause I'm like, it says not to have anyone in the house, and I'm like, but at the same time, it's. I don't know. How far can it reach? I don't know. They like, don't fill up the whole place. The whole place? Yeah, those things are designed to fucking... Well, because it even says an area. Because it, it comes with four. It comes with a four pack. And it says mm-hmm. put in the area that... So, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I... I figured if I put towels at the edge of that, but... I don't know. It's... it. Like, I'm just like... Because I'm like... And I see them... Now I'm getting to the point where if I see it, I'm just like... Like I that, slap yeah, it. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Like I, I've gotten over. I was bad with bugs too, but now I'm just like, <laughs> like fuck you. Well, Thinking like of- see, because like I was cleaning my kitchen last week, and it was getting to a point where I saw a big like this one was like a legit roach. Where I was like, those are different. I was like, <laughs> those are definitely what different. Those are from fuck? outside. Yeah. I was like, what the fuck? And I nearly fucking cried. And then like when I was cleaning under my, because I noticed the, because there were some medium sized ones too, and it looked like they were coming from behind my uh, microwave. So I was like, what the fuck? Apparently, there was some, like, food under the microwave that, you know, that I when I was moving to clean it, there was two little roaches, and I had an empty beer bottle can, like, a little uh-huh. bottle at the top, uh-huh. <laughs> and I guess that was his little home, so I grabbed my raid, and I was all, yeah. and, you know, it flips upside down, I'm like, fuck you, roach, yeah. fuck you, and then it took me, like, 20 minutes to swipe them into the <laughs> trash can, because, like, I was using, like, the top... Those are, yeah, I, I, I got you. Terrifying for me. So no, like, those are big ones. So those little ones I'm, I'm cool with, but those big ones... Yeah, those like, little tiny ones are like that, I'm all... Yeah. <laughs> I'm like... But it won't take me 20 minutes, but I do see your mouth. But okay, okay I, I Teach cry. has to evacuate his penis with P, so... Oh. <laughs> all right. Well, uh, thank you for joining in on episode 12. Happy thank New you, Year to Happy everyone. Happy New Year. You guys... I've been David Clare. I'm the Teach, and bitch, you guessed it! What? No... No, don't do it. No, 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 no,